Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a pasta recipe. I have shared a couple of pasta recipes and I shared baking also. And today, I'm going to share mixed sauce pasta recipe. Mixed sauce is nothing but the white sauce and the red sauce. That is nothing but tomato sauce. We are going to mix both together and we are going to make this excellent simple pasta vegetarian if you want you can use a uh, chicken shrimp and any other uh, non-vegetarian you know at the time of adding your vegetables so today only with vegetables i'm going to make this pasta so to start off first here i have a bowl wherein water is getting boiled i'm going to first very little of salt in the water and i'm going to use the pasta here any type of pasta you can use so this i'm going to boil till it is al dante in another pan we are going to start making our white sauce we are going to add one cube of butter and immediately we are going to add some garlic and immediately one teaspoon of all-purpose flour and we are going to cook the all-purpose flour in this butter it's very very simple to make the white sauce usually in my house i always keep the sauces ready and uh, you know it's easy for me to make it so here the butter has cooked now what we are going to do is we are going to keep the pan aside and we are going to add in this milk i don't want to add it you know when the pan is on the stove because sometimes it may form lumps so to avoid that this is the best way add the milk and keep mixing this this way it won't form any lumps dear friends i do it like this and now back to the stove switch on the flame and we are going to add salt in this very little we are going to add pinch of pepper powder and the sauce is getting ready thickening it's getting thick and in this we are going to add cream fresh cream you can use and mix it and switch off the flame our white sauce is ready keep this aside and now i am going to start cooking our red sauce that is the tomato we are going to add tomatoes we are going to add some onions and tomato puree and we are going to cook the red tomato sauce meanwhile i'm going to just check the pasta here this will take some time so here in this pan we're going to add some butter and also some oil if you want you can use olive oil also oil is hot now the rest of the garlic add it and immediately add the onions also these are finely chopped onions and increase the flame we want the onions to be slightly transparent so we're going to add salt to it and we're going to cook this for just one minute then we're going to add rest of the ingredients so onions are slightly transparent now we're going to add mixed herbs and also finely chopped tomatoes and tomato puree also reduce the flame add some chili flakes this is the spiciness which gives to our dish and also very little of white pepper powder we want the tomatoes to be slightly soft so we are going to cook this for three minutes so friends here you can see our tomatoes are mashed you can see i want slightly you know the chunk so i add it if you don't want you can skip it and you can use whole of tomato puree or you can boil the tomatoes grind it and you can use that also now we are going to add the colors of capsicum yellow and some cherry tomatoes and also some green capsicum and some baby corn and we're going to slightly cook this we want the vegetables to be you know crunchy crunchy so don't overcook this and let's see the pasta i think it's ready it should be al dante so be careful don't overcook it you can see this you should have this bite i think another minute then you know the pasta is done it's perfect but slightly you know i'm feeling still the hardness so that should go I'm going to cook this for another one minute, then we're going to transfer everything into this. So before transferring, we're going to add the white sauce into this, mix this. You'll get this shiny, shiny texture and the sauce will be nice and thick. You know, once in a while, instead of having the regular, you know, white sauce pasta or, you know, regular pasta, you can try this kind of pasta, mixed pasta. So friends, here is the sauce ready. It won't take much time if everything is ready. So add your pasta and slightly toss this. What you can do is you can use some of the, you know, boiled pasta water. You can use it and you can make it thin. Now this is ready. I don't want 
more of sauce this is perfect it should be like this you can see tomato is there and the white sauce is also there because of the white sauce it's giving nice and thick you know texture and the glossy texture to your pasta this is ready now before serving dear friends just always check the taste and then serve it and now let's start plating this take a nice pasta plate and arrange it and in the last just put some parmesan cheese as i said if you want more of sauce dear friends you can add some water this will you know become thick and thick now sprinkle your parmesan cheese if you have you can use this or otherwise you can use the regular cheese also but always try to you know sprinkle in the last and put a sprig of mint leaves and serve this yummy tasty mixed sauce pasta pastas always you need to have it when they are nice and hot this is literally literally amazing it's perfect salt is perfect spiciness is also perfect and the vegetables are nice and crunchy it's not overcooked still i can feel the bite of the vegetables and even our pasta is perfect like al dante difference you need to try this once in a while instead of going and paying a huge amount for the pasta you can make it in a very very simplest way in your house with any kind of vegetable i shared you know brinjal that is eggplant uh, pasta and i shared chicken pasta any type of pasta you can try dear friends in your house i hope you enjoyed this simple session of making mixed sauce pasta if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes <laughs>